today i want to discuss about the poison distribution very important distribution then uh, in the category of discrete probability distribution all these discrete probability distribution which i was talking about like binomial distribution hypergeometric distributions are based on discrete random occurrences poison distribution is a kind of blind distribution one occurrence is not related to the other occurrence however it is applied in the situations where where the occurrences are possible in a fixed or definite time interval or a definite space for example number of calls attended by the call center in an hour number of customers arriving on the counter number of accidents at a particular junction uh, number of uh, successful attempts made by a person in an hour on a so oh, question paper i think so in such situations we are looking for poison distribution we are looking for the help from the poison distribution this poison distribution is based on uh, inverse exponential formula given by a french mathematician poison so this is uh, what we call poison process where the time is defined as per interval or the region is defined as per of definite range for example we know the average occurrences per hour but we want we want to expect what will happen in the next hour what is the possibility that more than certain numbers will happen in a in particular hour so in such situations we will apply poisson distribution in discrete probability distribution any distribution is nothing but a from 0 to infinity but definite occurrence one occurrences so there must be one thing which is called as average occurrence over a particular time or the expectation in a delta t time period so these are two things which are important to apply the poisson distribution this is the equation for poisson distribution which we can use to evaluate the probability for a particular value of x which is nothing but a function of x where lambda is an average occurrence in a specific time or so so now when this is an average occurrence and we are expecting something what will happen what is the probability of occurrence in t time period then the average for that particular time period is lambda t so this lambda t is an average occurrence which will be the average of the distributions every distribution has four conditions that summation over x equal to 0 to infinity the function fx must give one the value of fx should be greater than or equal to 0 and it should have a mean value it should have a variance in case of poisson distribution the uniqueness is that mean and variance are same for the value of cumulative probability will be summation x equal to 0 to r this will be summation x equal to 0 to r and this will be summation x equal to 0 to r in case of longer values of the occurrences we must take the help of probability distribution tables for poisson distribution distribution nowadays it is simple because many online softwares online uh, calculators are available for finding out the probability so let's go for a particular problem an example is given during a laboratory experiment the average number of radioactive particles passing through a counter in 1 millisecond is 4 in case the value of t is 1 millisecond then average occurrence lambda is 4 what is the probability that six particles enter the counter in a given millisecond means they want to know the probability that x is equal to 6 now we know that there is an average occurrence per millisecond and they want to know in a given millisecond so t is also 1 and the average time unit is 1 millisecond So in this case, this will be nothing but function f x at x equal to six. 
So this we want to know if we apply Poisson distribution. Formula for Fx is e to the power minus lambda t lambda t to the power x upon vectorial x for x equal to 0, 1, 2, up. Let's go further. For the value of x equal to 6, the function fx will be equal to e to the power minus lambda t, where t is 1. So lambda is 4, t is 1, 4 multiplied by 1 to the power 6 factorial 6. That will give us a particular value. You can calculate from axial or initial equal to bracket exponential function to the power minus 4 multiplied by 1 then multiplied by power function then number to the power 4 multiplied by 1 to the power 6 and this will be divided by vectorial what we get over here is point, point one zero four one. So this is the probability of occurrence of six particles in a given millisecond. For example, in the same problem, I want to know what is the probability that more than or equal to six particles may occur. So in this case, what will be the probability? This will be 1 minus probability of occurrence of x less than or equal to 5. So it will be the cumulative probability over here. Now in this will be 1 minus summation x equal to 0 to 5 e to the power minus 4 into 1 into 4 into 1 to the power x upon there would be five, six terms which we have to calculate over here. That we, is not possible in the case. So, or it may take longer time. So, that is why we will go for picking up this value from tables of Poisson distribution. So, if we go to the table of Poisson distribution, what we can do is value of mu is 4 all the possibilities shown here are this one, these ones. now in this case we want to know the cumulative probability so cumulative probability for 5 is 0 0.7851 it will be 1 minus 0 0.785 that will give us a value 941 so this will be the probability of occurrence of six particles in a millisecond. If the same value we want to calculate from the tables of Poisson distribution, it will be nothing but the probability of getting x less than or equal to 6 minus probability of getting x less than or equal to 5. So less than or equal to 5 we know 0 0.7851 less than or equal to or equal to 6, we can see from the table again. The value for 4 is 0.8893. See the difference, how much it comes? 2, 9 minus 5 is 4, 8 minus 8 is 0, and 8 minus 7 is 1. So how close you see these two values? These are very close. So either you can apply the tables of Poisson distribution, or you can apply the, the formula. But in this case, either you can apply the tables given in any statistical tables or at the end of any, any book or you can simply apply the formula. But applying the formula in some of the cases will take a longer time. That is why we go for the data. But sometimes there are many softwares available which we can use for the benefit of just picking up the value by direct pulling in the in the columns what is the value of x lambda and t and you can get the value of the probability probability or the probability for that particular random variable so this was all about 
poison distribution and the application of poison distribution.